Number 10, the eyebrows. So the eyebrow feud is definitely not on fleek, and I'm honestly just so disappointed that apparently grown celebrity woman just can't leave the high school drama, well, in high school. So it's no lie when I say Selena Gomez and Hailey Bieber's relationship has been dogged by drama for years, as both ladies have been romantically involved with Justin Bieber. And despite Hailey saying it was all love between the two women on the Call Her Daddy podcast in 2022, it hasn't stopped fans from pitting the two against each other. And now it seems like Haley's best friend Kylie Jenner has entered the chat. In February, Kylie out of nowhere weighed in on the drama by posting a close up eyebrow photo that took some jabs against Selena. So just after Haley and Selena decided to wave the white flag and become friends in October 2022, Selena decided in February 2023 to share a post to her TikTok saying, I accidentally laminated my brows too much. And then in just a matter of hours, Kylie shared a picture of her own arches on Instagram writing, this is an accident. Then Haley got involved in the mocking of Selena after Kylie later shared a screenshot with a FaceTime call and both women were caught showing off their carefully groomed brows on the camera, which then pushed back Haley to limit comments on her Instagram and Kylie pretty much told her fans to basically chill out. Number nine, Justin Bieber. Back in February of 2016, Kylie Jenner would sit down for her first major interview with a British magazine where she would open up about being part of the most famous family in the world and how Justin Bieber helped her deal with her fame. When talking about Justin helping her with her fame, she would say, I'm so close to him because I feel like he's been through exactly what I've been through in a completely different way, but similar. So he just gets me. And every time I see him, he always sits down and is like, are you okay? You're amazing. You can get through this. Just stay true to yourself. He helps me a lot. So it's clear that Justin and Kylie have an amazing relationship as he has come to Kylie's defense more than once, telling everyone to just leave her alone. And while Justin was still dating Selena, Kylie and her sister Kendall actually used to be friends with Selena. But when they split, seemingly the sisters also dropped their friendship with Selena as they clearly have loyalty to Justin. And due to all the drama surrounding Selena, Justin, and Haley, it's clear Kylie has taken the side of her friends and became a mean girl in the process. Number eight, the Instagram takeover. So Kylie Jenner was the most followed woman on Instagram. Instagram with 380 million followers until Selena dethroned her as she made an epic return to the social media platform and quickly stole Kylie's crown. Which can't exactly be sitting too well with Kylie as now she doesn't really have anything to brag about when it comes to her family as she's not the richest sister any longer and she's definitely not the most followed person. Now, Selena previously had been the most followed woman on Instagram, but when she left the social media platform for a period of time, she only returned stronger than ever before and this definitely has to be getting on Kylie's nerves. As admits her dethroning on the platform, she threw some total shade at Selena by mocking her eyebrows. Before returning to Instagram, Selena did take a short break from the platform and she would explain to Vanity Fair that she removed Instagram from her phone and that she actually passed on the responsibility to another member of her team because she found the app to be toxic. And honestly, she was right to think so as just as she returned and became the most followed woman on Instagram, it's clear other women in the spotlight were jealous and they tried everything they could to bring her down. And because of it, she's left the app again. Hey my little peaches, are you liking this video so far? If so, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and you know, subscribe to the channel. And number seven, Hailey Bieber. Shady people clearly like to be friends with other shady people and that's exactly what Hailey Bieber and Kylie Jenner's relationship is compiled of. Just one big lump of shade. Now, both Hailey and Kylie have been best friends for years and they only grew more closer after Justin Bieber married the model. And fast forward, to today, it seems like the stars are still supporting one another as they endearingly take the time to celebrate each other's success from time to time. As Haley has commended the growth of Kylie Cosmetics Empire by saying, I've always been so inspired by that. And Kylie also congratulated Haley on starting her own skincare line by saying, first I wanna say that I'm so proud of you and I love Road. So it's clear that the girls are really close and with Selena's fans constantly going at Haley for her constant and shade against Selena Gomez, it's clear to see why these two ladies hate Selena, but imagine if they could put all the shade behind them and just be friends and support each other, they would be such a powerful trio because women need to support other women, not shade them. Number six, Kendall Jenner. So it's clear that all the drama started after Selena went on vacation in Mexico. While 
on vacation, the paparazzi captured a photo of Selena in her bikini and the images were released online on January 3rd. Internet trolls then took to the section to body shame the star while trying to give her some advice. So while a lot of the trolls were making fun of the star, it seems like things were only going to accelerate after a TikTok video posted by Hailey Bieber started to circulate on lines where fans pointed out that Hailey and her friends, Kendall Jenner and Justine Skye were clearly taking the time to mock Selena Gomez's vacation photos. In the video, the ladies could be seen lip syncing to the lyrics, I'm not saying she deserved it, but I'm saying God's timing is always right. Fans after seeing that video were outraged and thought their TikTok was directed at Selena as they were all hinting at the fact that she deserved all of the body shaming. And when Haley deleted the video, it only added more fuel to the fire as fans began questioning why did Haley delete the video if she didn't make fun of Selena in the first place. This then started to label Haley and Kendall as a mean girl. And whoever Kylie hates, so does Kendall as the Kardashians always seem to stick together. Just look at how they all iced out Jordan Woods and Scott Disick. Mean girls. Five. Actually talented. So it's clear that Kylie Jenner's talent outside of being able to wear expensive clothes, drive expensive cars, live in expensive houses, and fight with her family on a reality TV, it's non-existent. And even her talent for being the richest member of her family was the biggest scam that was uncovered after she lied about being a billionaire. However, Selena Gomez, on the other hand, is a triple threat because not only can this girl sing, but she can act and dance. And outside of her talent, she's also a beautiful, young, kind, smart, and warm-hearted girl that has grown into this very strong woman so she could get through her own ups and downs. Just after Kylie took to her Instagram page, to mock Selena, it would cause Selena to dethrone the star and gain 12.8 million followers, and Kylie ended up losing 1.8 million amidst her feud. It's clear that even Kylie stating that there is no beef between the two sides, there is, and she's just really fake to the public, so she doesn't damage her reputation. She's clearly jealous that Selena has talent, and now she's built an empire on Kylie's failure. Number four, Kylie's toxic. Kylie, Kendall, and Selena all used to be best friends, but back in 2014 when Selena decided to purge her Instagram friends, we were all shocked when we noticed that the Wizard of Waverly Place actor decided to delete her new besties, Kylie and Kendall. But after she revealed the reason behind it, we all understood why she did what she did. When Selena was friends with Kylie and Kendall, they made her feel like she was more alone. And it got to the point where she found her friendship with the sisters was extremely toxic and unhealthy. Selena was 21 at the time and she had enough with all the partying. And she really just wanted to focus on her music and going to church. But her friendship with the Jenners was just getting in the way of that. Now both Kylie and Kendall are close to Selena's on and off again love, Justin Bieber. And to them, he can do nothing wrong. So while Selena was going through the breakups, Selena felt like she wasn't receiving any support from the two ladies who claimed they were her best friend. A source close to Selena would then also say, she just feels alone and doesn't know who to trust or to turn to. And later they would say, Kendall and Kylie just don't know Selena the way that Taylor Swift does. Number three, just mean girls. It's clear Selena Gomez just can't sit with Kylie Jenner and Kendall Jenner and Hailey Bieber. As all three girls have been labeled as mean girls as the public is currently labeling the trio as bullies since they have been publicly bullying Selena with their very immature behavior. Fans for a long time have been aware that there has been some bad blood between Selena and Haley as it dates back to the days of their love triangle with Justin Bieber. And from the beginning, Kylie and Kendall have gotten wrapped up into all of the drama as they also once claimed that they have helped Haley take Justin from Selena. With the girls thinking their fans would just laugh with them over their latest move to hurt Selena, it was definitely miscalculated. As many social media users seem like they are largely put off by their behavior behavior as they are behaving like catty teens, especially since these women have millions of dollars thanks to their successful careers and they can't even act like grown adults. Number two, ruined career. Now if you've been keeping up with all the latest Selena Gomez, Hailey Bieber and Kylie drama, then you know that Kylie Jenner is definitely in her flop era as her career is definitely in trouble as she took a major hit on social media after her bullying allegations were brought to light. Since news first broke about the fact Kylie and Hailey might have just mocked Selena 
Christina about her eyebrows being brought to light, some have started a conversation on TikTok by sharing videos where fans can be seen examining the decline of Kylie's fan base since the incident. With the videos showing not only Kylie's fan base dropping below 1 million followers, there has also been a major dip in her company sales. While Selena, on the other hand, has only increased, landing her over 1 million new followers and more sales in her rare beauty line, which proves Kylie's career could be in jeopardy, as even Kris Jenner doesn't even know how to handle this much damage control. Lately, Kylie fans on TikTok have been tossing away their favorite lip kits and swapping them for rare beauty products. And this could be a major problem for Kylie as her cosmetic line is her main source of income. If no sales, it could potentially be a huge problem for the star. And coming in at number one today, we have the ended friendship. So back in 2014, Kylie and Kendall would both claim that they were glad they weren't friends with Selena Gomez any longer. Just after Selena cut ties with the sisters because she thought they were a toxic distraction, Kylie and Kendall would claim that all Selena's claims were just twisted and that they were better off not having Selena in their life. As then they went on to claim it was actually Selena who was the real drama obsessed party girl. But it seemed like recent events seemed to prove otherwise. Kylie and Kendall's claims would come just after Selena purged them from her social media as not only was Selena convinced the sisters were tarnishing her career, but she also held a grudge against Kylie as it was reported she was just getting a little too close to Justin and Selena was convinced something was going on between them. Watch out Haley. Starting off our list at number 10 today, we have Selena's body. So back in January, Haley posted a TikTok video which her friends Kendall Jenner and Justine Skye were in and you could see them all mouthing the words, I'm not saying she deserved it, but God's timing is always right. Haley was then quick to delete the video after fans commented saying her post was clearly directed at Selena. After Selena was hit with body shaming comments, on a bikini photo she posted. So it makes us wonder if Haley, did you hate Selena's bikini picture because Justin liked it? And while Haley said she never comments on things like body shaming, she then tried to clarify why the post that she deleted was deleted and said the post was just a random TikTok sound that the group did for fun and that it wasn't directed at anyone. However, it's kind of hard to believe because the way Kendall went on to sip her drink made it clear that it was directed at someone because let's face the fact, the Kardashians aren't good actors and neither is Haley. At the end of the day, Selena seemed unbothered by the mean post as she went on to say, okay, I don't let these things get me down. Be nice to everyone. Number nine. Taylor Swift. After the whole eyebrow ordeal, the whole world started to wonder what happened that made Haley randomly turn into a mean girl. But the truth is, the star has always been a mean girl. And we all just didn't realize it until now. After Selena came across a resurfaced video of Haley seemingly targeting her best friend, Taylor Swift, in the clip, Haley could be seen co hosting Drop the Mic with Method Man. After the rapper says, in a one on one battle full of the meanest lyrics, about a celebrity since Taylor Swift's last album, the model could be seen sticking her fingers in her mouth and making a gagging notion. In the comment section, Selena then quickly came to Taylor's defense, commenting, so sorry, my best friend is and continues to be one of the best. That one definitely had to make Haley a little salty as it's clear she only hates Selena's inner circle because she wants to be the next Selena Gomez, but who doesn't? Jumping back into the list at the number eight spot, we have Justin Bieber still loves Selena. Selena. So imagine being married to a guy that still loves his ex. How would you feel? Well, if you were Haley Bieber, you'd probably be thinking after her latest mean girl move that her relationship is completely over with Justin Bieber. Let's face it, Canadians are nice and we don't stand mean girls. Since Justin got married to Haley, he hasn't felt whole. And it came to the point after Selena was hospitalized that he thought he made a huge mistake when it came to his marriage with Haley. An inside source would then reveal that Justin still loves Selena as she was his first great love. And while he was young and traveling around the world as a superstar, he learned a great deal from Selena. Even during his honeymoon with Haley, all he could do was think about Selena and this is why Haley and Justin are in therapy to help their marriage because they both know they made a mistake but Haley just doesn't want to lose Justin to Selena. Number 7. The Eyebrows When Selena recently posted a video on her TikTok page, she would say, I accidentally laminated my eyebrows too much to the point Kylie Jenner would then find herself in the middle of Haley's and Selena's feud 
after she posted a photo on her Instagram story writing, this was an accident, on top of her own laminated brows. And not going to lie, the timing was just pretty questionable considering that Selena shared a video on her TikTok just a few hours before. And adding more fuel to the fire, Kylie then went on to share a screenshot of a FaceTime call with Haley, where they both showed their eyebrows for the camera. But Kylie quickly went on to deny the fact that she helped mock Selena with Haley after she noticed her followers were declining on her social media platforms by saying, This is reaching no shades towards Selena ever. I didn't see her eyebrow post. You guys are making something out of nothing. This is silly. Clearly, Selena just didn't want to step on the biggest family in Hollywood's heels, so she obviously went on to agree with Kylie and went on to say, Agreed, Kylie Jenner, it's all unnecessary. I'm a fan of Kylie, but it's clear Kylie and Haley were both making fun of Selena, which is sad to see. And there's a reason why they're losing millions of followers today. Hey, my little peaches, are you liking this video so far? If so, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. You know, subscribe to the channel. Number six, talent. While Haley may be a model, it seems like she was only able to make a name for herself because she comes from a talented family. But when it comes to talent herself, she's been having a little bit of a hard time when it comes to booking runways and she blames it on a casting director who shook her confidence on the runway. While the model doesn't feel like putting herself into a position to feel small on the runway, it's not her first time that she would talk about feeling low as in 2019. She opened up in an Instagram post when she said, I'm insecure. I'm fragile, I'm hurting, I have fears, I have doubts, I have anxiety, I get sad. It seems like the reason Haley hates Selena so much is even when Selena is down, she still managed to continue on with her career and come out on top. While Haley may be more focused on her own skincare line, it's just clear she doesn't have the power to stay on top without her husband's name. And that's why she's sinking to the low level of taking other women down because she finds them a threat. Number five, nice girl. Since the beginning, Selena has always remained true to herself, as she's always come across to be this kind-hearted individual who cares about the well-being of those around her. And she's used her platform to speak out about issues that truly matter. Her actions over the tears tell us more about her personality than a simple test ever could. Even if you look at photos of the stars since she was small, she's always seen holding her head high with an inviting smile. But Haley, on the other hand, doesn't have a clean-cut image like Selena. While Selena's fans claim that she's actually actually sweet and inviting, Haley won't even give her fans the time of day. Selena is also praised for her manners when she's out in public. Haley, on the other hand, has been called out for the way she treats others, especially servers. It's clear that even fans have been comparing the two girls' manners, and while Selena comes across as a nice girl, it's clear Haley has always been this mean girl. Also, have you ever noticed, usually Justin protects his wife in these sort of situations, but this time, he's been pretty quiet, and it's clear he's letting Haley dig herself out of her own home this time around. Number four, too mature for games. Just after Selena left the comment on Haley's resurfaced video of her making fun of Taylor Swift, Selena announced her plans to take a break from social media by saying, I'm gonna be taking a second from social media because it's this is a little silly and I'm 30, I'm too old for this. She then went on to delete her TikTok account. While Selena is known to take breaks from social media every now and then, as of early February, she revealed in an interview with Vanity Fair that she was really fond of TikTok and it was the only app she currently had on her phone because she found it to be less hostile. She would also say there are wonderful things about social media, like connecting with her fans and seeing how excited they are and seeing their stories. But today, Selena has her assistant upload photos for her. While Selena is too old to play games with Mean Girls of Hollywood, it seems like Hailey Bieber isn't over this phase just yet and she's doing everything she can to get a rise out of Selena and while Selena has definitely chosen to take the higher route and not succumb to what everyone's trying to draw out of her, it probably is why she's become Haley's number one target. Number three, dream life. Following the reignition of their ongoing feud, Selena's fans have been quick to dive into signs that they can use against Haley. Fans are now starting to believe that Haley has been copying Selena for years. And now several TikTok videos have been made where fans have pointed out things they believe aren't just coincidences and it's clear that 
that Haley was so obsessed with Justin Bieber at a young age, she wanted to become the next Selena Gomez. As an example, in one of the clips, Selena said in an interview she wished more people knew her heart. Then, when Haley showed up to do an interview with Jimmy Fallon, she said the exact same thing. The same thing appeared to be true when Selena said she was a huge Britney Spears fan, and Haley went on to echo a similar sentiment. Another TikTok video has also pointed out the similarities between Selena Gomez and Haley's cooking show when Gomez launched Selena and Chef on HBO Max in 2020. Two years later, Haley launched What's in My Kitchen on YouTube. The viral clip points out the likeness between the two cooking shows, which also captured Haley saying, Okay, okie dokie, which is a phrase Selena is known for saying on her own show. Also, it seems like Haley has also copied Selena's beauty line to a T, so copycat much? Number two, Justin's mom still loves Selena. Just when you thought all this Haley Bieber and Selena Gomez drama couldn't get any worse, the drama has definitely reached its peak, as it now appears like Justin's mom has entered the chat. On top of Patty tweeting, hate is ugly, don't be ugly, Twitter fans have also claimed, she liked and unliked a comment about Selena taking a break from her social media accounts. It's clear that Justin's mom is on Selena's side in this situation, as Selena has chosen to take the high road during the height of all this drama, as she's remained unbothered by all of Haley and her friends' hate. On top of the hate, Selena has also taken the time to tell her fans that she does love them for choosing to call out those who are being mean girls and who are on a mission to bring the singer down. And coming in at number one today, we have the home wrecker. During an appearance on the podcast Call Her Daddy, Haley would clarify the notion that she stole Justin from Selena as she explained that she never interfered with their relationship. The whole claim just seemed a little sus though because it came out of nowhere and it just came out days before Selena's documentary was released. In the interview, Haley would say, when he and I ever started like hooking up or like anything of that sort, he was not ever in a relationship ever at any point. She then told podcast host Alex Cooper, it's not my character to mess with someone's relationship. I would just never do that. I'm not interested in doing that and I never was. But just because she didn't take him away from a relationship doesn't mean that she didn't take advantage of Justin's situation. For Justin was with Haley just six months prior, he was still with Selena. And during this period, Justin was in a pretty vulnerable place. Haley made him believe that being married would fix all his problems and when it didn't, he started to realize maybe he married the wrong person. Coming number 10 today, we have Justin Bieber. It's clear that Justin Bieber isn't really happy since his wife, Haley Bieber, and ex Selena Gomez developed a close bond recently. It's said that the Peaches singer has even warned the model to keep her distance from the Wizard of Waverly Place actor as he is concerned that something might go wrong. An insider would then tell In Touch Weekly that after years of being pitted against each other, Selena and Haley are finally on friendly terms. However, Justin is freaking out over them comparing notes since their pictures from the Academy Museum of Motion Pictures second annual gala went viral. He then warned Haley to keep her distance from Selena, despite calling a truce. As far as Justin is concerned, he believes all hell can break loose at any moment. Which is only fair as he and Selena had a pretty messy breakup and Justin's fans have been urging him to leave Haley for some time because everybody's still stuck on his relationship with Selena Gomez. Hey my little peaches, are you liking this video so far? If so, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Number 9. Miley Cyrus At one point, Selena Gomez and Miley Cyrus were pretty good friends and as their fame started to take off, their environment would grow to be the perfect storm for jealousy, self-loathing, and unreasonable competition. Things even got so bad between the two, at one point, Selena and Miley were even characterized as mortal enemies battling it out for the ultimate Disney crown. The feud all started when Miley started dating Nick Jonas and after they broke up, he became romantically linked to Selena Gomez. After Selena confirmed her relationship with Nick Jonas, over the next couple of years, the girls would have a number of small, passive aggressive, and ultimately meaningless gestures that took place on both sides. Like back in 2008 when Selena and Demi made that YouTube video, and then Miley and her friend Mandy made fun of the video by spoofing it. While it seems like the stars have no bad blood today between them, they definitely aren't exactly friends either. Point number 8, Ariana Grande. Ariana Grande and Selena Gomez have never really exactly been friendly with each other and it all goes back to one person, Justin Bieber. After Selena and Justin officially broke up, Selena set it as her goal to ruin Justin's career and she caused a lot of chaos in the process. So before Ariana became famous, she was actually this huge Justin 
Justin Bieber fan and she always supported him and defended him throughout her career. So after Justin was branded as the world's biggest a-hole thanks to what Selena was leaking to the press about him, aka him being a cheater, Ariana would then stand up for the singer and claim that he was actually a really nice person. But it seems like the girls really just couldn't stand each other because Selena was always really jealous when it came to other girls being around Justin. And when Ariana was opening up for Justin on tour, Selena would end up fuming over the idea. And when Ariana was set to sit beside her during the KCAs, Ariana even moved her seat to sit somewhere else Why Selena stayed in the same place. Number 7. The Weeknd The Weeknd didn't seem to have the nicest things to say about Selena Gomez after the two broke up in October 2017 after 10 months of dating. But it's not really surprising since Selena did leave him to reconcile with her ex-boyfriend Justin Bieber as the two were spotted kissing less than a month later. Later The Weeknd would even write a song called Call Out My Name which he told the story of their relationship and he seemingly threw shade at how quickly his ex moved on by singing, I guess I was another pit stop, till you made up your mind you wasted my time. He then also appeared to take aim at Selena on several other songs from his other EP which widely speculated to be about the breakup. On the song Try Me, he would sing don't mess with me, the way I kissed your scars, the way I fixed your heart, don't you mess with me babe, while his track Privilege would call out Selena's life when he sang enjoy your privilege life cause I'm not gonna hold you through the night. We said our last goodbyes. The Weeknd never confirmed that the EP was about Selena, but he would tell Esquire that it was short because he had nothing else to say on it. Now why anyone would ever want to leave The Weeknd for Justin Bieber is beyond me, but Selena's true colors showed when she did just that. Number 6. Sophia Ritchie Back in 2016, Selena made a comment about Sophia Ritchie's and Justin Bieber's relationship. Sophia would then weigh in on the drama and support her rumored boyfriend, Justin Bieber. In case you forgot, this is when Selena called out Justin Bieber for sharing back to back photos of Sophia and then threatened to make his Instagram private so people would stop hating on her. Selena would then write, if you can't handle the hate then stop posting pictures of your girlfriend lol. It should be special between you two only. Don't be mad at your fans. They love you. Though Justin provided his own response, Sophia made sure to show her support for him by saying, Justin is not shutting out his believers. He's thankful every day for y'all. Y'all got him here. He doesn't forget that period. All love. Then Selena and Justin began this really big back and forth that the internet couldn't help but dive into. Number 5. Bella Hadid Now just when Selena started dating R&B singer The Weeknd, Bella Hadid would end up being hella livid because before Selena and The Weeknd got together, apparently Bella and him had plans to eventually reconcile. However, The Weeknd claimed that he was taking a break from his relationship with Bella so he could actually focus on his career and he actually just ended up doing the exact opposite. And that's when he started talking to Selena Gomez, which actually resulted in a lot of tension between the two ladies because after The Weeknd left Bella, he pretty much jumped right into a relationship with Selena and this really hurt Bella because she loved The Weeknd and thought that they would ultimately end up together. She was more just living with Selena though because she was the only one standing in her way of getting back with her ex. And when the two started to date, Bella knew her relationship with him was officially over and that really hurt her. Number 4. Chris Rock In a display of shade that seemingly had no reason behind it, Chris Rock would very publicly diss Selena by posting a less than kind meme to his Twitter account back in June of 2016. At the time, the comedian would share a snap of Selena smiling and rocking a gold bodysuit while performing on stage alongside the caption, when you buy your formation tickets on Craigslist. He then wrote alongside the meme, this is true. Understandably, the tweet, which still remains on the actor's account today, didn't go too well with Selena fans as supporters then bombarded them and criticized them. And one fan even said, when nobody will buy your stand-up comedy tickets so you come out on Twitter to slander someone more successful than you. The shade was made all more confusing after it was pointed out that both Chris and Selena had actually gotten along pretty well a few years 
earlier as they were photographed together chatting on the red carpet at the 2010 Nickelodeon Kids Choice Awards when Gomez even sweetly embraced the comedian's daughters. Number 3 Stefano Gabbana Stefano Gabbana back in June of 2018 wouldn't say the nicest things about Selena when she was on a social media break and he went straight for the comments that surrounded the actor's looks. Just after a fashion account called the Catwalk Italia posted 5 photos of Selena in this stunning red dress, one of the snaps would show the star in a stunning floor length red Dolce Gabbana dress. The Italian account would then tag the brand on the snap. Then for some reason the co-founder Dolce and Gabbana wasn't a fan of any look nor was he a supporter as he would comment on the photo. She's so ugly. While Gomez fans slammed the designer in follow up comments, he didn't seem so worried about the raft of the star's supporters as he simply wrote in response. <laughs> Selena then ended up getting the last laugh when she was spotted at New York Fashion Week in September 2018 with the word ugly written in rhinestones on her hair. Number two, Demi Lovato. So today, Demi has no beef with Selena Gomez. However, she has made it clear that she is no longer friends with the star that she used to be best friends with. Their falling out would allegedly be caused over personal struggles both had to face over the years, as Demi felt like Selena wasn't always there for her and that their friendship wasn't actually really real. While Demi has confirmed that she does have a lot of love for Selena, she just can't be friends with her at this time as she doesn't want to be reminded of her Disney days as they made her feel miserable and overworked. The two girls first became friends when they worked on Barney together and later when they became teenagers they started to drift apart. As Demi started to enter into this really big downward spiral, Selena would then start to distance herself from Demi as she entered into rehab facilities and Demi started to feel like she was being abandoned by her best friend. While the two continued to have this really off and on friendship, both girls personalities continued to clash which leads you to wonder what's truly going on between them and what actually happened that made them hate each other. And coming in at number one today we have Lord. So Lord is another star who has spoken out about Selena Gomez. And this time it's because of her music. It's clear that the musician is not a fan of Selena's single Come and Get It. And while Lord was speaking to the Rolling Stone in 2013 she would say, I love pop music on a sonic level but I'm a feminist and the theme of Selena's song Come and Get It, when you're ready come and get it from me. I'm sick of women being portrayed this way. Lord would then be asked about her comments by MTV News and she refused to back down by saying, I have pretty strong morals in my opinion being in pop music and I can't help but express those, which I think people appreciate. I mean, I don't think I can say anything that isn't backed up. Most of the times I will stand by things that I've said. As for what Selena had to say about the matter, while well, she hit back in October 2013 in an interview with Flaunt where she went after Lord for claiming she's a feminist while tearing other women down down by saying, that's not feminism. Lord is not supporting other women. That's my honest opinion. That's what I would say to her if I saw her. I actually covered her song in all of my shows that I've done so far. I'm not sure if I'm going to continue that.